Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. Last week, I said that I was laying low for a while. I have taken the time up to now to reconsider and plan the coming direction of the channel. Between now and Election Day, I may or may not mention names in the context of issues. This is not a change from what I have been doing all along. I look at the issues first and apply names in the context of those issues. However, this effort will intensify from this point forward. It really does not matter to me who wins this election. What matters above all else is what we do after the election and after Inaugural Day. Our agenda needs to be refocused and remain focused on progressive change. Some of my audience may not consider themselves leftist. However, if you are in favor of universal health care, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, public schools, decent infrastructure, stimulus bills, federal small business support, you know, election integrity, election reform, getting big, dark money out of politics, civil rights, human rights, decreasing military spending, etc., then you, my friend, are a social democrat, if not a socialist. I have heard many people say they cannot handle it if Trump wins again. The last four years have done a job on them, and I understand that. Um, my response, though, is that they have simply ignored Biden for the last 50 years. If they cannot handle another four years of Trump, their options are limited. If you can't handle it, what, what are you going to do? You know, leave the country? Um, Commit suicide? Please don't. You know, I mean, it just you can't just shut down or, or act like nothing's happening. You know, so your options are few. You know, in most respects, four years of Biden will be another four years of Trump, just with nicer words and no neoliberal media, or DNC resistance. You know, the policies are virtually the same, and in some cases even worse. That's as far as I'm going with that. Let's get past the history and start looking at the present and the future. What most of the people mean when they say these words is that their urge is to go back to sleep. Pull a lever and then ignore everything for four to eight years exactly the way they did through eight years of Obama and Biden, which led to Trump. The four years of Trump have been a rude awakening for them. Unfortunately, even with the change in presentation by the media, and the DNC if Biden wins, the reality on the ground will not change. We are still headed toward the ground vertically with afterburners at full flame. Close your eyes as tight as you like, but we will all suffer the impact. Denial will not stop it from occurring. No matter which way the election goes, I am not going to be happy, uh, excuse me, I am going to be happy, sorry, in one respect. I can then keep my own focus on the issues and try as hard as possible to drag others along with me in the same mindset if they're not already there. The names do not matter. The names have never mattered because everyone in the pilot seat have been following the same flight path toward mass oblivion for decades. 
I've made it clear countless times that we have to rely on each other. No, you cannot go back to sleep. The coming years are going to be absolutely crucial to our survival as a country and a species, especially the immediate coming year. None of us can afford to adopt any attitudes or behavior of apathy, you know, isolated comfort in echo chambers, helplessness, hopelessness, dependency, despondency, and division. Your actions, your actions and words, like mine, do not take place in a vacuum. You affect others. If you exude uncaring, anger, hate, division, hopelessness, etc., then how the fuck are you any better than your adversary? How are you putting, how are you helping the emotional health of others, helping your community, your country, how are you thinking you will defeat the very forces defeating us by laying down in front of a moving tank? In no way am I saying we should be happy about what is happening, what has happened leading us to this point, or what is coming. I'm saying the exact opposite. From the micro and personal interactions in everyday life, to the macro, in city, state, national, and global affairs, we have to be active in unified, positive ways that offer human assistance and genuine hope to one another. We cannot change what led us here. The past is the past. But we can positively affect the present and the future. And we have to think in long terms. I fully realize a lot of my material is fairly dark and foreboding. None of what I produce is meant to demoralize. It is intended to inform, to educate, to enlighten, to reveal, and to incite conscious and innovative thought to show that we are in this together. So, this is the direction that the channel will continue to be on. Focusing on issues. Names are incidental. Issues unite. Names divide. Names change. The issues remain the same. Through name after name after name after name. Are you seeing the wisdom in that statement yet? Issues unite. Na names divide. Do you understand what that means? While I have not been recording many segments of late in the background, I have written a number of pieces which I will be fine-tuning and recording this week. I've settled on the price process of writing most people in, pieces and text and then recording them as well, giving any individual a choice of which they prefer, text or video. Some of that does depend on my available time. For a while, I was unable to do both, so the video option was most efficient for me. If someone prefers the text version, it will always be posted on Medium. I will be working on revising the website this week because I have a little time off to focus and not many mundane tasks of maintaining everyday life for, 
for a while. Anyway, <laughs> I'm also past some personal health and emotional difficulties, which had negatively Im impacted my motivation. You know, I'm feeling much better and have more energy, which I will be using productively. Stay tuned, because in the next few days, the following chapter will be coming for the channel, with a large number of pieces coming out in short order. I may not share all of the these on social media, as I don't want to uh, get suspended for spamming. Not like I'm making any, making any money at this. You know, so please, uh, keep an eye on Medium and YouTube for new material. And I will announce it when I've got the website back up and, and where I want it to be. And at least getting there. Remember, we are all in this together. We make the choice whether to be divided or unified. Don't let others make that choice for you. If we are not part of the solution, then we are the problem. All right, so that's going to be it for this one. Please share this video and, you know, Follow the channel. If you can, please donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel. And I hope you have a good day.